Ja, yeah, my name is Rickard Röjfors. I'm R&D manager at Victor Hasselblad. Yeah, so Hasselblad has a long history. Uh, for the camera part, it started back in 1941 uh, when uh, Victor developed a camera for the Swedish Air Force. And then he went into the consumer business and they became quite popular. Um, they were used on the moon uh, for the moon landing. NASA started to use them and then Hasselblad cooperated with NASA. And then it has been going on. And um, in the recent years, we're in the digital uh, market, of course. And our uh, motto is create to inspire. Uh, and that I think we do uh, a lot of important moments has been captured by our cameras. We want to help the artists to be able to create what they want. Our latest camera X2D, we, we use Qt. Um, we actually have three screens on this camera. There is a small screen on the top uh, and there is a, a back display, a touch display. And we also have what we call a, a viewfinder. Uh, so you look into the viewfinder. So that is actually a higher resolution screen. Uh, and we use Qt to render material on all these three screens. One of our problems is that our images are quite big. There are 100 megapixels. Um, but the user still wants a mobile phone experience when pinch zooming, swiping. Um, and there, yeah, we, we use Qt for it. We have some tweaks, but in, in general, it's, it's Qt out of the box. The reasons for selecting Qt is uh, several, I think. It's well documented, uh, so it's easy to use. Um, it's also cross-platform, so we can try out things on the PC before deploying on the, on the target. And it's a well-proven uh, technology, uh, quite low risk uh, to use it. Of course, we, we released this um, camera one year ago, um, I think September last year. Uh, and there has been some feature upgrades uh, by, by re new firmware, um, and that we will continue to do. Um, so we, we constantly add more features. But I cannot really tell you which ones. <laughs> Something that is already trending, I guess, is AI. Uh, I mean, to generate con uh, content. We, we, of course, want to use the camera to create the content, but we, you can also use AI for uh, improving uh, the pictures afterwards. So that is, of course, a big trend. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the mobile phone market and, and screens, H HDR is something that is yeah, coming.